Well, hi guys, Mopsy here. Um, first, I want to apologise for not being around much recently, but we're busy on the on the farm this time of year. But um, I've got a few videos to to make, and I'm having to do this one really quickly today. Jamie and Michelle are both asking for um, a bean stitch video again. Um, fairly specific so I'll get straight on to it I'm going to go for a uh, new hoop and we're going to go to create the drawing package and create a new bitmap and I'm going to do this for Jamie first she's wanting like a wrist strap um, almost like a watch strap but something that she can put um, some design on in, in, in the center um, hopefully it will make sense in a little bit so um I'm gonna make it two oh I don't know how wide maybe two and a half inches wide by eight inches long enough eight inches to go <coughs> excuse me around the wrist with a couple of, of uh snaps on it like the cam snaps so okay to that and for Michelle this this is like the process Michelle the, sh the shape that you're going to be drawing will be just a square or the circle but I'm going to come down here to my color palette and right and mouse click on the blue I'm coming up here to the rectangular tool and I want it filled with no outline and if I know this is two inches the width of the strap itself um, probably about three quarters of an inch I'm not sure so but you can work out the, the sizes either now or later so I'm just going to drag a band down so that's going to be like the eight inch wrist strap and now I'm going to come to the circle or ellipse again um, filled with no outline I'm going to leave it in blue and I'm going to come somewhere over here and I'm going to hold the control key down on my keyboard that will make it a perfect circle and release that and so that's all the design that 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 we're doing this is for Jamie Michelle um, the principle is the same but yours would just be either the circle <coughs> excuse me or, or, or the rectangle that you want so I'm going to close this save changes and I'm going to call it, what am I going to call it, I need to remember where I'm going to save it as well. Um, I'm going to come into my Futura um, Futura Images and I'm going to call it Wrist for want of a better word. There we go. So all it's done now <clears throat> it's put the graphic on the screen. This is not an embroidery file at the moment. I now need to convert this to auto punch. So next, that's the design that I want. Okay, um, that's cropped pretty good. That's for what I need to do. That's fine. I'm going to go to the next screen, inches, and we've got it eight by two and a half. I say the size. You decide what you want on that. Okay, the color screen, I'm going to see what colors it suggests. It's saying the blue and the white. Um, the blue with the white background. And next, I'll drag it down. It makes absolutely no difference on this screen. Um, I don't want to stitch the white background. I just want this blue, and that's all there is. Next. Um, this design is not going to be filled, it's just going to be like the bean stitch on the outside. So I don't need to add anything here. And so just come to finish. And there I have like the wrist strap on the on the, on the screen there, eight inches long. I'll view it in realistic view, so that's what we have at the moment. Now we need to do a little bit of editing, so I'm going to come up here to Outline Edit button up on the menu. <clears throat> I'm going to zoom in a, a little bit, and I'm going to come to the top. And I'm when I run my cursor over this line here, 
you can see that it has a, like a little curved line attached to it so I'm going to come in the middle and I'm just going to lift that up and say stitch it so that's like the curve for the tab um, same at the bottom put my cursor right over the line drag it out and stitch it come back view it the whole thing on the screen and now come into the design and in my embroidery settings come into my stitch type drag down to applique and you can see I did a quick practice on this one I don't want the first hold down line I don't want the second hold down or overlock I just I'm going to use the guide stitch which is your initial like layout line and I'm going to apply that and there we have what will be just a single stitch line so I'm now going to close my box come out of outline edit and if I go into my realistic draw all that's going to happen is it's going to put one bean stitch around so I'm going to go come out of my redraw mode so now what I need to do is get hold of the design because we're wanting maybe two three or even four stitch lines on, on this so right mouse click and copy click off of the design right mouse click and paste and there we have a second duplicate and I want that a different color and then I'm going to stitch out of it and as you can see this is again the Singer program it's kept it blue for the moment but I'm going to click on it or select it and change the color again I'm just going to go red okay so now we have two on the screen we have the layout line if you choose to use one and then we have the first run of the the bean stitch I'm going to do another paste and here we have another design and I'm going to select it again and this time I'm going to have it that same red okay um, I don't know if I'm confusing you here, but here we now have three rows or uh, uh, runs of, uh, of stitches. And if you don't want the layout line, then make all three of them the same colour. If you want the layout line and then an additional three lines, then right mouse click and paste another one. And I'm going to click out of it. No, I don't want motor hoop because I've just gone outside it. I'm going to pick that blue one up and also turn that red. Say OK. No. So we now have one layout line in one color. So it would stitch this out just, let's say, on your, on your stabilizer. So you know where to lay your vinyl down. And then we have three lines of stitching so obviously they all need to be on top of each other I'm actually not going to go that large I'm going to come down to 600% because now we need to get hold of them and put them on top of each other that's that one that's that one I've got to go and find the other one. Here it is. Move it across. Okay, let me come back down. You can possibly see that on screen. I'm going to come down to 50%. And obviously, you'll play around with this to make sure that they're right on top of each other. So let me come to 75 percent so you can see what's going on view redraw design 
and let me just play that so there is the blue layout line at this point you'd lay down your vinyl and then there's the first red the second red coming round and then there's a third line coming down so how many runs of stitching you do is up to you um likewise i'm going to come out of redraw um likewise with um you may or may not want to do that layout line in which case you can get rid of the of the blue one and just leave the three um red stitch lines um I'm hoping that makes sense for you guys. Um, the other thing that you could do now we've got the design. I'm going to say center the design, and obviously that would be a little bit wasteful. So I'm going to come up here to the repeat design, and I want to have this twice on the um, in the hoop. So I'm going to say OK to that. I'm going to drag over the first one and move that over here. No, I don't want multi hook. I'm going to get this one and move that across. So now I've put two into the into the hoop. And if I come to the redraw again, so we have the blue and then coming round the first red the second red the third red and then it will come across to do the second one there we go so there's the second tab one two three so i'm going to close that and come out of that if you wanted to do the blue the blue and then the reds which would make more sense come down here I'm at the bottom of the screen here my first block blue block right mouse click reorder to the end of the design the second blue one reorder to the end of the design and then the red right mouse click reorder to the end of the design now what will happen is it will do the first blue layout line the second blue layout and then the three rows around this this one and three rows around this one and at this point you can then um, put a design in the center as I, this is a circle it could have been a square it could have been any shape you wanted but um, <clears throat> I hope this helps guys I'll um, I'll catch you soon and give me a shout in the group bye